Billie Holiday is known as the founding mother of jazz. She made hundreds of recordings beginning in the 30s and performed innumerable times. Holiday started her career making the rounds at the speakeasy clubs during Prohibition. Lesser known is her connection to the Catholic Church. Joining me is Professor Tracy Fessenden. She's a professor of religious studies at Arizona State University and author of the new book, Religion Around Billie Holiday. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Lauren. I want to start, if I could, by uh, saying how grateful I am to you and to your network for taking note of Billie Holiday in the context of her Catholicism. That is so seldom done. It is a recognition, I think, that is long overdue, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. Well, it's fascinating for me, who grew up loving Billie Holiday. Now, we know her as Billie Holiday, but a young Eleanor Fagan, or Eleanor Guff, I think, as she was known then, was shuttled between family members yes. and this Catholic convent. She received her only formal musical instruction at the House of the Good Shepherd for Colored Girls in Baltimore. What influence do you believe the music of the Catholic Church played in shaping her musical style? We often read that Billie Holiday was entirely self-taught, and while she had enormous innate talent, she did receive vocal instruction at the House of the Good Shepherd from the chaplain there, who uh, was also uh, the, uh, the, the, the priest who baptized her. What I hear in her vocal inflections, in her phrasing, in her way of shading the notes, is something that was very new to Catholic liturgical music at the beginning of the century, and that was the form of chant that had recently been uh, revived or renewed uh, by, a, uh, by the monks in a monastery in Solemn, France. What we hear, I believe, at the end of the 19th century in this newly revived Gregorian chant is something that sounds very modern and something that sounds very much like Billie Holiday's vocal style, it, a kind of rhythmic freedom, a loosening of her relationship to the notes, and a, uh, a, a, a quality in her voice that is very much like ordinary speech. Her time at the House of the Good Shepherd also exposed her to the sacrament of confession. Do you find themes of redemption and forgiveness in her music? I do. I, I believe that Billie Holiday developed her per distinctive persona uh, at, uh, in, in part, at the House of the Good Shepherd, where she was exposed to the lives of the great women saints in Catholic tradition, extraordinary women who often, like her, needed to navigate very punishing personal histories and needed to uh, confront a great deal of uh, despair and uh, um, very uh, painful circumstances. So I think she learned from those women and from the instruction she received in confession uh, uh, something important about uh, compassion for all who struggle. Billie Holiday was very guided by those models, I believe, even as she herself, uh, as we know, struggled greatly. And part of those issues were her addiction to heroin and alcohol. But you say she should be remembered for yes. these really poignant works, Strange Fruit in 1939 about lynching, which was something for that time, and she wrote God Bless the Child as well. So it seemed religion shaped her ability to tackle difficult topics. Yes, I think that's exactly right. That is beautifully put. She herself did not write Strange Fruit. That was written uh, for her by a Jewish composer named Abel Mirapol, but she certainly put her distinctive stamp on it. Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child that's got his own. What about her signature song, God Bless the Child? Yes, that's a song that Billie Holiday did write uh, with the help of a composer named Arthur Herzog. And she called it, or at least the, the sheet music calls it, a spiritual in swing, which is a very interesting description. It's not exactly a spiritual, but it was Billie Holiday's take on uh, the tradition of the spirituals, which was not her tradition. Because she was Catholic, she was not raised in a church where she would have heard spirituals regularly. But she, I think, put her own distinctive stamp on that tradition with uh, the song God Bless the Child. Thank you so much, Professor Tracy Fessenden author of the new book, Religion Around Billie Holiday. Thank you, Lauren. It's a pleasure.